um, living the legacy of the dreams. I am proud to introduce our guest speaker today, Ms. Danelle Anguish. First, I'm gonna read a little bio on her and then she will come up here to give her speech. Danelle Anguish was born in Henderson, Kentucky. She is the daughter of Gail and Michael Anguish. She is currently the Children's Services Manager at Henderson County Public Library, where she has been employed since 2009. Danelle is a 2001 graduate of Henderson County High School. Ms. Anguish went on to attend Western Kentucky University, where she earned an Associate of Arts degree in Early Childhood Education, a Bachelor of Science in Consumer Family Sciences with an emphasis in Family Studies, and a minor in Child Studies in 2006. In May of 2013, Danelle graduated from Murray State University with her Master's degree in Human Development and Leadership with an emphasis in nonprofit organizations. Ms. Anguish is a servant leader in, our in her community. She is a 2012 Henderson Leadership Initiative Fellow, a member of the October 2021 Leadership Everyone class, and a proud member of her sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. She is also an active board member for the Henderson Area Arts Alliance. She sits on numerous committees, such as the Community Investment for United Way, Rotary Colonels to College, Celebration of Leadership, Women's Honor Corps, and many others. She loves her community and looks forward to serving in the future in, in other impactful ways. In her career, Danelle has been an instrumental in several partnerships and collaborations with organizations in our community. Reading in the Park, Jazz in the Grass, and the first Giving Tree Village are just a few of the most recent. During the pandemic and collaboration with the Henderson County Schools and the Henderson Housing Authority, our Story Walk program was featured in American Libraries Magazine. In her free time, you can find Danelle working on her newly discovered talent, balloon artistry. She has been the hands responsible for several balloon garlands and creations around the area. She also loves plays, dancing, and of course, books. Please help me welcome our guest speaker, Ms. Danelle Anguish.
Um, so I have a dream. No words are more widely recognized or more often repeated than those that rang out from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial when doc by Dr. King in 1963. Dr. King's speech, elegantly structured and commanding in tone, has become a transcription not only for his own life, but for the entire civil rights movement. During this time each year, many take the time to revisit Dr. King's legacy through his speeches, biography, and more. Various legislation and activism have arisen across generations after his death. There's no debate that some of the same questions sparked during his life still need to be answered today. Reflecting on the work, words, and life of Dr. King should remind everyone that our work is not done. More than any other time, the events of today make it obvious that America has defaulted on its promissory note issued in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution. In so far as her citizens of color, women, poor, and other marginalized are concerned. If Dr. King were alive today, he would say that instead of honoring the sacred obligation, America has given its people a bad check. A check which has come back marked in sufficient funds. While America looks bleak, Dr. King taught us to believe in a better day, to believe that the bank of justice is never bankrupt. He reminded us that we must refuse to believe that there are insufficient funds in this great nation's vaults of opportunity. We must stand steadfast and hold America accountable for its promise. We must let the powers that be know that we've come to cash our checks, checks that will give us, upon demand, the riches of freedom and the security of justice. I wrote in there, breathe. <laughs> 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 to, to study Dr. King leading the way through intense hardship was remarkable, and it became a blueprint to follow. His blueprint should inspire all of us to leave our footprint on earth. More importantly, the blueprint should, should serve as a tool to guide others, especially our young people, on how to leave and leave their footprint. Dr. King was a servant leader, and a voice for those who otherwise would not have been heard. He fought against poverty, injustice, lack of decent and affordable housing, inept education systems, low, wa low wages, and he also fought for peace. Over 60 years ago, Dr. King was fighting for or against many, if not most, of the very same issues that we still face today in this country. So we must continue to live the legacy but in ways that make our voices heard. We must use our time, talent, and treasure to empower our communities. We must support and uplift one another, and we must reach and teach our future gen generations the importance of this legacy. This struggle is by far over, and while the dream is not fully realized yet, it is not dead. Let us dream together. Can you say that with me? Let us dream together. <laughs> when it comes to our lives, most of us are familiar with the dash. You know, the dash was born in 1983, and hopefully it'll be a long, long, long time before that dash, you know. But that dash really represents our entire lives. It represents every moment, every accomplishment, every failure, every joy, every sorrow between the beginning and the end. What you do with your dash and the, what, do, what you do with your dash between birth and death is essential to the evolution of mankind and your legacy. In just 39 years, which is the same age that I am, Dr. King died when he was 39. So that kind of kind of lingers with you, kind of thinks he did so much in such a short amount of time. And then it makes you feel like you really need to step up your game because it's 39. But in just 39 years, Dr. King presented an unforgettable dash to humanity, which propelled me to leave an indelible dash of my own. I aspire to do this by consciously working daily on being a present leader, sister, aunt, friend, mentor, librarian, 
daughter. I hope to help unlift. I hope to help uplift, empower, and inspire the next generation of young girls and boys. All while saluting. Lost my place. Sorry. All while saluting the great Dr. King for paving the way. I feel it is my responsibility ability to keep the torch burning and pass it on, to share in knowledge and opportunities. And on that note, don't be a gatekeeper of information and opportunities. What good is it to have a wealth of knowledge and experience and you die with it? Dr. King once said, whatever affects one directly affects all indirectly. I can never be what I ought to be until you are what you ought to be. This is the interrelated structure of reality. When we slow down enough and examine Dr. King's <clears throat> dreams, the action plans that brought people together for the good of mankind became evident. We are a part of a collective consciousness of leading and making change happen. Through my experiences, I've come to understand that no matter your background, you can use Dr. King's legacy to inspire change in the next generation of leaders. There's no better time than the present to make your dash known to the world. And while we certainly still face a mountain of injustice and disparities, Dr. King's legacy reminds us not to wallow in the valley of despair, but to continue to dream. We must know in our hearts our work will force America to live up to the words. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Our work pushes us closer to the, that reality every day. More than anything, my reflection on the work of Dr. King reminds me that if we are to be successful in the journey, we cannot walk alone. As we walk, we must take the pledge that we shall always march ahead. We cannot turn back. We will get there. Thank you for your time and have a wonderful day. Thank you. Thank you, Danelle, for that wonderful speech. Um, I do appreciate it, and you know, I did learn something from that um, to continue living my dream, my own self. I'm only 24, so I'm still pretty young, but that just gave me some inspiration, you know, just to continue pushing on and get to where I want to achieve. Um, now, I'd like to turn it over to Miss Leslie Jackson from Third Sorority. Danielle, could you come forward? Uh, my name is Leslie Jackson, and I am representing Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority. In the absence of our president, um, Deborah Mosley, she had a prior engagement, and I am over protocol. So it is our job to present to our sorors when they do wonderful jobs and go out and speak in the community. And I want you to know I'm very proud of you. Thank you. again for that and I just want to say again thank you for coming out to hear Danelle speak and for our Martin Luther King Jr. event and I hope you all got something a takeaway from that speech um, as well as just continuing to live our legacy. Um, we do have refreshments here and you're more than welcome to take whatever you would like and I hope you all have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Thank you.